Thornton dribble handoff to Jalen James. Trying to find Cunningham inside some contact between Cunningham and Greenwood Greenwood is down. Right now San Jose State with a free lane to the basket and the dunk redirected Brandon Mitchell tried to put it down. Oh jet came out to get him. Forced the miss and now Greenwood who is uh, bleeding out of his right eye it looks like. He got hit apparently under or next to his right eye. Right by the left hand of Cunningham. Ouch. And watch this from Brandon Mitchell. He got up there, Joe, but so did the Jet. He did. A Jet at seven foot one, like I said, with those real long arms. You know, that's, that's not quite fair. They take out one seven footer and then put in a seven foot one guy. <laughs> Nothing comes easy in the paint here against the Lobos. I think the officials now seeing if that was a that was a uh, a basketball play or what they call a flagrant one type foul. And I don't think there was anything even close to being intentional about that. Do you Tim? No not at all. It seemed totally accidental. And yeah. This is what the uh, the officials are going to look at here. Same as you at home and Greenwood doing a great job coming here to that role. And he just Cunningham was the guy hit him and certainly that was not intentional. In my opinion. So we'll get back to action here. Hugh Greenwood will get a bit of a rest. And it is ruled incidental contact by the officials. Well, that's going to hurt. He's having trouble keeping that right eye open. You know what? That'll be a great badge of courage that he'll wear around campus, you know, and probably get a little sympathy for. And he's a tough kid. Boy, he's, you know, he has really had a huge impact here on this Lobo program with his toughness and his leadership. And again, he and Williams play started their 76th game together tonight.